Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've had a request for materials. Um, so we're going to have a look at PBR materials. Because they are the best. Um, let me have a look. So we've gone to polyhaven.com and I've downloaded Rocks Ground 02. There are like shed loads of others and they are free. Um, you can see shed loads and yeah whatever you need it's going to be on there and we will jump right in so this will give you a real a lifelike ground so we're going to put in a plane to start with okay let's just scale it up a little bit going to do uh, control a and reset all transforms okay and what we need to do next is go into edit mode so tab into edit right click and subdivide and then we've got a little bar down the bottom on the left hand side and we're just going to put in say 40 cuts okay so you can see there we've got a nice load of cuts going on right so the next thing we need to do so this pbr will not work in ev so you'll need to change it to cycles okay and we need to add a material so we come down here on the right side to material properties and click on new next over in the top left hand corner when your cursor changes to the cross you can drag across so we're going to split the window or i think what you can do no you can't do that at the moment um yeah so just drag it across um and then if you have problems bringing it back to um one window you can when you when when your cursor changes to a double headed arrow you can right click and click on join areas and then whichever side is the darkest that will be that will disappear okay um so yeah and then up here so on the left hand pane we're going to change this to our shader editor Okay, so make sure you've got your BDSF or principal BSDF. Okay, and we only need this to be selected. Now, you need Node Wrangler, and we will, I'll show you where it is. Go to Edit, Preferences, and then Add ons, and then just type in here Node and then node wrangler just tick it and save preferences okay and then what we need to do in our um texture side material side is do control shift and t and that will bring up your material your file manager and then just go to wherever you saved your materials Okay, like that. And then what you want to do is just select everything. So make sure everything's highlighted. And then principal texture setup. And then over here you'll see it all being imported. Coordinates, all the different te textures, the bump maps, displacement. Um, and then it all goes into the output here. And then what we need to do is just we just go on to the render view okay so we can come out of that mode so as you can see there it is looking a tad flat which is not what we need okay so we're in materials so if we just close surface then in settings we need to change displacement from bump only to displacement and bump. And as you can see, that will give you a nice fake land with all your rocks, etc. Now, if we come over in our material here, we can scale that. If we just, we can scale, you need to go backwards. Uh, you need to go, if you're making it smaller, you need to go to say two by two 
Okay, but we're just going to leave that to one. And if you want to make it bigger, you can just go lower, 0 0.5. Okay. And then if you want this to be more bumpy or less bumpy, then you can come over here. You can either do it over here in your displacement scale or in here in the surface. Uh, and you can scroll down and then it is in there somewhere oh displacement so you've got the scale here and the scale there so they both do the same thing okay um and if it's too high so you know if it's just like stupid then just reduce it down to something a little bit more subtle i think i mean to be fair i think one was pretty darn good and then we can just close that off. And then if you wanted, you can just um, duplicate. It's so a Shift D on the Y. I'm just going to bring that over there. And as you can see, it lines up nicely. And then you can just Shift D on the X. And line that up. Like so. So you can just make it bigger. And that you can do that on any of the um pbrs so we could change it to you know if you're not happy with that one i mean you can just like mess around just select all these here and that one and just delete and then again do Control shift t um i've got another one which i downloaded which is brown mud um, I'll, sh I'll show you one. I brought some destruction because I'm like doing a little video type game and I wanted uh, some sort of like bricks, brick rubble. Um, so we just select all that, chuck it in, in there, wait for it to load up. Oh, I didn't have that selected. That would have been a long wait. <laughs> Um, yeah, PBR, so they're going to destruction, um, and old brick wood, uh, where was I? I need bricks damaged, grey brick rubble, let's have a little look. So that's like the grey, oh yeah, grey bricks. Okay, so basically this one I need to scale. I need to scale that down. So, so I'll do that like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So that looks a little bit better. Um, yeah, so you could have that as a little rubble in an old building, by an old building. We just scale that up a little bit, uh, 1.5, just to give it a little bit more. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Well, you could do it on any other shape, so let's just get rid of all that. Let's add in a sphere. Um, and again, you know, you can just chuck it in. Um, so I need to add a material. Let's come back in here, change that to shader. Just select that. Control Shift T. So this would be any old. Let's just um, on here. I'm gonna scale that up a bit. Um, and we are also going to add on a subdivision just to give it a few more so you can see here we could like use it as a um, oh just like a pile of bricks 
displacement uh, we need to change that to this before oh, was a lot let's scale that down a bit 0 0.5 0 0.25 um, yeah kind of like that so you could just have like a pile of rubble on the floor so if we just shift a plane g on the z so you, you know you could just have like a pile of rubble on the floor nobody sees what's going on underneath <laughs> like that like so anyway i hope you enjoyed the video um if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you on the next video ta-da for now